Good morning, sons and daughters of God, September 3rd, faithfulness and little things. Luke 16, 10 says, he that is faithful in that which is least is faithful also in much. And he that is unjust in the least is unjust also in much. Much time is lost in longing to do some great thing, some wonderful work, while the duties lying close at hand, the performance of which would make the life fragrant, are lost sight of. The life that is Christ-like in the home will be Christ-like in the church. It is the, the neglect of the smaller duties in an effort to reach after a great work that spoils the life of many a one. Many admire the broad, deep river which moves majestically in its onward course to the ocean. It is worthy of admiration for it is doing its appointed work. But what of the thousand rivulets from the mountainside which help to swell this noble stream? It is true that they are small and narrow, but they are indispensable, for without them the river could not exist. They are unitedly doing their appointed work in fertilizing the earth. Their path through fields and meadows can be traced by the living green that lines their banks. Thus they are carrying out God's plan and adding to the prosperity of the world. The mighty river has worn for itself a channel through the everlasting hills, but in its place, the brook is as necessary as the river. Each individual member is responsible for the prosperity of the church. The world is full of work for the master. Every day brings its burden of care and responsibility. And if just one neglects the work assigned him, some sacred interest suffers. It is the conscientious attention to what the world calls little things that makes the great beauty and success of life. Little deeds of charity, little words of kindness, little acts of self-denial, a wise improvement of little opportunities, a diligent cultivation of little talents make great men in God's sight. Thoughtful courtesies that commencing in our families extend outside the family circle help make up the sum of life's happiness. I hope you have a great day. You're a son and daughter of God.